Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna. Hello, everyone. This is TJ, and today I'm starting a new game called Firewatch. Uh, it's a fairly old game. Uh, I think it was released in 2016, uh, but I've heard good things about it. Uh, like similar to Outer Wilds, I don't really know anything about it aside from people saying it's good and you should play it. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Going into this blind, not sure what to expect. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Boulder, Colorado. I've never been to Colorado. Definitely late twenties. Interesting. Some kind of charm. Oh, nice. So I it's gonna go like. Back and forth in the story. <laughs> but I sense a but with this story. She wants the beagle, so give her what she wants. I like this kind of storytelling going back and forth. 1980. Oof. Maybe I should have just ignored her. Let's go with fun. Oh, 
he's out here by himself for a reason, so... I don't know where this story's going. to talk to someone about it. Early onset dementia. At 41. Just keeps getting sadder and sadder. <sighs> I feel like it'd be too much for him, especially when she could just do anything at any time. Let's do that. A nice little hike, though. Yeah, I like the colors. a sad life to live when you have to do this. Not that you shouldn't. I'm not. But that you have to be in this position. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. how we ended up here. <clears throat> I 
for the lookout tower. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Hold on. Radio. Huh. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? <laughs> People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... Like, sleep? Forever? <laughs> sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. Ouch! Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. <laughs> well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. <laughs> uh, title card. Yep. We are on Firewatch duty now. Day one. Good morning, Henry. Well, he is writing I guess something. good afternoon. <laughs> Probably so like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hmm. I like how they kind of just interacting with the. Hey. Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Okay, Are you so seeing what I'm seeing? adult type game Are those west. fucking fireworks? West. Fireworks? I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, oh, I see. No, <laughs> you need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? It is. Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Like, kick the shit out of them, sort of straight? No, 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 Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. 
Secure. Shut up. <laughs> These two are totally flirting. They're gonna fall in love. Falling it. Check out these fireworks, I guess. Hmm. How have I not heard of this game before? Like long before. And I fast cash box three oh six. Oh, okay, so we go west. I mean, I guess that's where the fireworks are, right? Alright, let's go. Yeah, just keep going this way. I found the supply box. Great. One, two. Easy to remember. Track down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. I will say it does feel very smooth. Like the interaction with that box and some of the items. Like compared to <laughs> like Starfield, where it felt very um, kind of slow and. I don't know how to describe it. Just didn't feel like a nice interaction. Yeah, but this feels smooth. I guess they've had years to polish it and stuff, so. I don't know. Shale slide, it's steep. It's a long way down. Okay, he is dead. <laughs> and he survived that fall. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? Like how the reply was just rope ow. snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Man, it is like so orange out here. Does look very dry. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans, they threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. So these are just disappearing. <laughs> what do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold muskwell light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though. That's for sure. Hmm. I never understand people who just litter. Their 
Jack's tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about <clears throat> harassment. Just kick them around a little bit. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? <laughs> they left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Save for later. He's got really chunky hands. <laughs> By chunky, I mean like big. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. <laughs> I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Why would they just leave it everywhere? Uh, there are uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? <laughs> There's a. Uh, ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. I thought I was gonna let you take it or something. I forgot this is the 80s. Cool stereo! Oh, hey, put that down! Seriously, it was expensive! Fucking cool it with the fireworks! Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, alright? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. <laughs> Chelsea? What? He's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's brody. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? Chuck all of your stuff. Fireworks, whiskey, you name it. What? You did! Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking bogus. You're gonna pay for that. Can we just get out of here? Totally. You're gross. Kids. Hey, that go okay? I hope they drown. Yow. <laughs> I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. Just gonna go ahead and not log that as a threat? Thanks. But seriously though, thanks for dealing with it. I like the dialogue in this game too. It's like realistic. Uh, it seems natural, it doesn't seem forced. Well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. It 
getting dark. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. <laughs> I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. Seven I times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. <laughs> what killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? <laughs> Dark. Being struck by lightning seven times, either you're s extremely lucky or extremely bad luck. What else is in here? I found a flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. <laughs> What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? <laughs> hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? Ooh, NFS echoing. tells people not nice. to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. <laughs> Damn it! This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. Hello! Could these two flirt any more than they are? <laughs> They're totally gonna fall in love by the end of this game. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. It's yeah, public. Yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Yeah, she's... A little optimistic about that. <laughs> Not always fun. He's still wearing his wedding ring. isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. <laughs> well, thank you. Anytime. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, Number one, at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. 
So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Where does this go, though? In the hole? Uh, I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little yeah, exposed, creepy. are we? <laughs> hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. Oh. What is this here? Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? Did... You should get inside. Fuck me. What the? Did someone break in? Oh shit. Yep. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. That's strong um, typewriter. I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Place is trashed. Teddy up a little bit. <laughs> okay, I put in a call. Oh. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. <laughs> Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I just don't worry about it. Perfect. Keep that attitude up and you'll have an excellent summer. Oh, that's day one. Well, that was slightly eventful. Day two. Wonder who did break in. If it was those teenagers, they're really fast. Because he took the short hey, way up. around, and yet they beat him to this place. It's kind of weird. Is there a mystery going on? I'm awake. I like I'm a awake. good mystery. Problem. Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Tom Hanks. T. Hanks. Thanks. It's a joke. <laughs> uh, where was that? 
Oh yeah, remember the outhouse. No, we just left the door open. <laughs> it would be kind of nice to go into a forest early in the morning. I never have. Ugh, feel this in my knees. Great view, though. <laughs> so, has he not showered in the two days he's been here? It's kind of gross. <laughs> Actually, pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there? Well, but you're taking a little break, or we're. I'm sorry, can you hold that thought? Uh, sure, just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any it's idea. Strap. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? What is she talking about? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Yeah, she does. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. <laughs> Oops. Didn't know we could do that. Where do we go? Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Beartooth Point? Am I going the right way? Oh, yeah, I'm going the right way. So, power lines? What was the point of showing her annoyed if she answered anyway? <laughs> Didn't really block me from talking to her. Maybe it's like the other small talk. Conversation choices. So a little box up here. I'm gonna check that out before. Where is this the way to go? No. No. Okay. What's in here? Our handy dandy one two three four. He just leaves it on lock and then throws the lock on the bottom. Mm. 
these four. There's nothing in there except the map. I'm just copying the map information. I don't know what it actually does. Oh, it's that pine cone we dropped. Interesting. It's pretty cool that it just keeps rolling. <laughs> These lines go there there, I guess. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Bishes. How could these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Recycling. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Not That's cut actually the wire. good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is... illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they... They would not be scared of him. I don't know. They were not um, scared of him the last time. Wait for him to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find him. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. How did they even pull that off, though? What is it connected to? Of that? Huh. I don't know. I have a feeling they didn't do it. it happened either after they left or... Before. Beer cans. Means we're going the right way. Yeah, I feel like there's some other mystery beyond these two teenagers. Did they go that way? Or did they go this way? I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, I mean, yeah. You could just Great. climb well, over. if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing <laughs> list of responsibilities. Tools? So does that mean one of the boxes has, like... Hedge trimmers or something? Oh, 
light drop. Yeah, let's go this way first. <laughs> it's a really nice day. It's probably pretty hot though. Nothing in this thing. Seriously? Lame. And let's go back, I guess. Thoroughfare. Oh, that's far. So look out, that's where we are in Jonesy Lake. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Pilfer. I haven't heard that word in a while. <laughs> well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Hmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. <laughs> I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children He's back here? for revenge. Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for Just rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Wait, I need a reply. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway. Good. I wanted to check out the new guy. Is that what he's talking about? Ned? The new guy at Two Forks. Chimney rock coming out. I'm sorry. Huh. Okay, so it's either the Maybe kid or the dad goes. that. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. It could be bad. No, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? It's nice that he's. We're not alone. Uh, I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? <sighs> I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Five Mile Creek. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird.
they keeping? Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez, I don't know. Fence. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. What's a lichen? Well, wouldn't you lichen to know? Oh my god, <laughs> goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Hmm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Mm -hmm. I like how they're building up this mystery. What is going on? Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So... Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but... <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Wait, I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Yeah. Tough to get away. I'm sure he needed to. Needed it. Away from judging eyes. Did and your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job, or... <laughs> you just fall prey to the service was busy. recruiting push. When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. Uh, sorry, I don't really know what you mean by recruiting effort. Oh, after last summer. You know, budgets went through the roof, a lookout, and every lookout for the first time in 20 years. Last summer? Oh, come on, you're from Denver, not Delaware. This was national news for Pete's sake. Boulder, I'm from Boulder. <laughs> Same diff. So are you going to let me know what happened that caused this budget increase, or what? <laughs> wow. I can't believe you don't know. I was a little preoccupied last summer. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like that what, happen 15 in miles away. Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news? And what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. Like the goddamn park can burn down again. <laughs> Are they in Yellowstone? I don't know what that means for us. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Flapjack. 
Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! Forks for a Oh, okay. So... Oh, we got a box here. Oh, this is the box. Oh, we're back where we started. Okay, where's that plume of smoke? I said it was southwest. Are we going the wrong way? Can't see the smoke. Oh, there it is. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away. And that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this it's summer. So I promise. Tragic. At least she has family, too. Be a lot worse if she was alone. Okay, I see the smoke. Get there. Can I just jump in. That's oh, broken. Okay, where am I going? Is this the right way? No. Here's that lake. Yeah, let's just go back to the lake. We got music playing. No, they're not here. a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. Maybe it's one of the girls. I mean, it's been here a long time. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Isn't that like what the college was in The Last of Us? Was some made-up college in that town. It's not the way to go. So, how'd you meet? I met in a bar. <laughs> mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, oh, you were brave. I was drunk. <laughs> mean, brave, drunk. 
sure at all. Give you some confidence. Where are we? Oh, I see. So it looks like it's that little area in the meadow that turns down there. Set to go down. Where is that? I know I looked in that area earlier. Let's see, Are we on the right track? Oh, we are. Okay, so it should be right here. Oh, okay. I think we're on the right track. I don't remember seeing this spot. Repel, hello. It's always weird when it's quiet and she's not talking. <laughs> Kinda got used to her voice. Are we on the right track? I don't know. I'm just gonna go this way. See any beer cans? We're probably in the right place. Let's see this little cash thing here. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? Mitch Michaels. Oh man, he's been missing for a while. Like, what, seven, eight years? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Aspen Those Grove. trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. No. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years. Even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of Nature. these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Oh, yeah, we're on the right track. Found one of their empties, because we're on the right track. That's what I said. Roger that. a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. <laughs> uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Oh, is there a murder? Did they get murdered? Or do they go missing or something? I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Did that 
do anything? <laughs> pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, it's unclear where they've been. The pants, I mean? <laughs> well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. <laughs> she is so confused. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. <laughs> These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Do they even have the strength to carry everything out here? And drag everything along with them. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Is what happened? Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? Look, I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Oh, okay. Day two was jam-packed with a lot of stuff. <laughs> Because I'm horribly superficial. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Sure. Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. <laughs> oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. A well, uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is, is that okay? 
Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. <laughs> I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. <laughs> She's totally into him. And I'm sure he's into her, too. Well, I think day one and day two took a bit of time. And not sure how long day three would be. If it's anything like day two, it might take a while. So I think I'll pick that up in the next playthrough. But I really like the mystery of the story and how they set up the story to begin with to explain how we got here you know they could have just placed us here and not give us any background but that was a neat little interaction to start the game and yeah excited to learn more about these two and see their romance which is very obvious and I'm guessing it'll be conflicting for him since he's married and uh, Julia is sick so yeah until next time Thanks for watching.